Actually, I have a question. Um, I might just put it to Niall. Um, I had a, an SWL on, um, and with, with an engineering brain now, you might be able to uh, work this one out. Um, it might be worth it for someone listening as well. This guy has a has a metal roof um, on a shed, and he wants to use it as a ground plane for an, an antenna. Um, so he, he wants to figure out his antenna height. Um, now, I always, I don't know, my thinking on this is that it would, the, the height of the antenna would be you know, um, a, a quarter wave, I suppose, um, taking the ground plane into account as a minimum. I don't know, Niall, what, what do you think of that? It's kind of a, it'd be an odd shaped surface rectangular, so I don't know, is it, would it be worth um, this guy doing it or not? Over. CI9 HIV from EI6 uh, HIV. Yeah, it actually could work quite well, uh, Adrian. I know some people have put, uh, they use the car roof as a ground plane and it tends to work quite well. Uh, I think uh, quarter wave antennas seem to work uh, quite well. Do you know, is it for HF or is it for uh, VHF or UHF? Back to you. Yeah, no, well, he's he's a shortwave listener, so I suppose it's HF. Um, so probably, like my, my thinking on it was, it probably wouldn't make much difference. Uh, um, dimensions wise for, for uh, listening and um, but it was if, if he's a hardcore DXer I suppose he might want to tune it a little bit and um, but then I'm thinking for HF would we'll probably want to be I, he, I'm, not, I'm not sure would, would he need a sort of a coil on, on the on the vertical element or what do you think over It would probably depend on uh, what kind of bands he's looking to cover. Uh, if he's looking to cover um, a wide range, he'd probably be better off just getting a disco and antenna and not uh, not even bothering um, too much um, with the uh, you know with the with the shed roof or whatever with the the, the metal roof. Um, it could end up uh, kind of being more uh, more hassle than it's worth. Um, but uh, you know, it kind of depends. Uh, Adrian, back to you. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll throw that back into the mix uh, there, Niall. I, I don't know uh, if anyone else has an opinion on that. Uh, uh, maybe Tony, 7 GUB. Yeah, okay, Adrian, echo India, 9 Hotel Alpha Bravo, echo India 7 Golf in your phone, Bravo, wherever it's running, yeah. Yeah, I suppose it depends, okay, on what you listen to and um, what kind of antenna he's going to use. Um, I know if you're using the, the metal roof as a ground plane, uh, we used to use uh, a magnetic antenna uh, base. Uh, you just stick the, the magnet to the, to the roof and uh, that'll act as a ground plane alright, but uh, it depends I suppose uh, if he's going to put a hole in the roof, you have to be careful or connect the wire to it if he's going to do it that way, I suppose there's different ways of doing it. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it has to be actually doing it to really know, uh, Adrian others. Okay, Tony, thanks for that. Um, I, I might just put it back to Tom then. EI7 HD from EI9 HAV. Tom, any view? Yeah, okay, uh, well, if it go for HF, uh, Adrian, uh, Like if he had if he had something up that it was definitely working, uh, then 
uh, that um, he could make up another antenna, uh, we say, with, with wire and put it on a switch box there and switch from one to the other and find that the one that he's just made is it working compared to the uh, the uh, the, um, the multi-purpose uh, antenna uh, that he has on the on the on the the, uh, uh, the the metal the metal roof the galvanized roof and uh, so um, but if he doesn't want to do the experiment and he just wants to put up one antenna one only and that's it he just wants to switch on the radio uh, there so uh, this cone type antenna uh, would be would be grand uh, but there, there's um, if he wanted to get, you know, this, you know, as well as simple long wires, he can buy long wire antennas that uh, uh, will will work for him. That he won't doesn't have to adjust, etc. Back back to you there, uh, Adrian. Yeah, I seven HT from EI nine HAB in the South Dublin radio net. Yeah, Tom, I think that's that, that's reasonable. I think you'd want a general coverage. I I, I would think just go with a, a wire because it's just general coverage. But as you said, if 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 the roof kind of locks him into a band. Uh, dimensions was um uh you know we could get a switch and switch between one to the other and see and see what, how well it performs on on the particular band it's related to um okay um well, well I, I suppose i'll just give a call out there then just to see if there's anyone else around uh cq cq 40 meter cq from south dublin radio net this is ei9 hab in south dublin radio net calling cq and standing by EI6 Foxtrot Zulu, um, good morning, um, Dermot uh, e from EI9 HAB. Uh, you were much uh, discussed this morning, Dermot, because Tom thought he heard you calling in earlier um, uh, when we had um, Roger on from Bristol. He thought he, 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 Roger might be able to pick you up. So you might be able to confirm with Tom, what was it you that called in uh, EI6 FZ from EI9 HAB?